All right, let's talk about prime recruiting targets. Who should you be trying to recruit? So number one, agents that you have a relationship with already, that the moment you announce you're opening one of our offices, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, this person's an idiot. What are they doing? Trust me, they're curious. They want to know why the hell you would do something like this. Call them and tell them. Don't call them and say, ooh, you have to join team whatever. You got to join my brokerage. Call them and explain the model. Call them and talk about our growth. Show them what's going on in the market. Once they understand, they will come to you because we are the best option, we believe, in the country when it comes to doing this model. Nobody does it the way we do it. So that's number one. Obviously, if you do a deal, Talk to the co-op agent. Tell them they were professional. Offer to explain the model to them, okay? And and look, there's co-op agents, there's buyer's agents on teams that are not allowed to list homes, and then they're giving up half the buyer agent money. I got news for you. Our agents make more than them per deal. On a one-to-one -one basis, our agents are making more than a buyer's agent. Go to redfin.com and look up the Redfin partner agents or the Redfin agents. There's tons of agents who have signed up for Redfin or other similar services that, are, that will dip their toe in the water and charge less to list houses sometimes. They just haven't made it the focus of their business yet. They're not telling anybody. And that's like having the best sale on whatever you're selling, but you don't tell anybody. Like imagine having a great Black Friday special, you're just not gonna tell anybody. It's crazy. Convince them that they're nuts. Show them the value of really going in head first you know, for the consumer and for the client. Once they start seeing the charitable aspect of it, but also how quickly it can compound and make them money and volume, agents will consider swapping. But there is, there's a host of ways. Um, another great option is using broker metrics or market view broker. You can log in, you can start sorting agents by the ones that are not doing very many listings, but they're productive. So imagine somebody doing six, seven, eight deals a year, but they're all, they're getting zero or one listings. These are the people that tremendously benefit from what we do. So just understanding that you have a list of people that this makes sense for right off the jump. Okay. And, and starting to target that list is huge. And once again, do not be out there talking about, look at me, look at me, look at me, join me, look how awesome I am. It's about what you're doing. It's, it's totally about what you're doing and, and your agents will follow your lead on that. If the broker is out there talking about the brand and talking about how we're saving people money and, and pushing that, the agents will as well. But if the agent is, if the broker's pushing themselves nonstop, the agents will do the same and you will struggle.